Patrick's been our guest. Next pick, Montreal. Fran Filador. Well, the next Mark. selection will be uh, Montreal. I think they just took Bilodeau. Oh, Bilodeau? Yes. Uh, and we were just talking about him a few seconds ago. Uh, Brent Bilodeau from the Western Hockey League. Played for Seattle. He's uh, 6'4", 210 pounds. Just an extremely large guy. Supposed to be pretty agile for his size, though. Uh, really, uh, scoring-wise, he was only 7 goals, 16 assists. Uh, that's not his facet. His facet is solid defense. And uh, just a huge... In fact, the hockey news described him as immense. Immense, immense 220 pounds that six was their four, word for him and that he is selected by the by the Montreal Canadiens he and here's some footage as you can see he's a, he's a big kid well, he had seven goals and 18 assists in 55 games so he's not being taken by the Canadians to put the puck in the net obviously no, he's there for some size and to help out defensively uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. And I don't I'm sure he's, uh, he is big. There's yes, no question there. I don't think there. it's going to be too many years to the fans here in Memorial Auditorium to see him come in four times yeah, a year right. and not be real thrilled about it. So the next pick will be 18, and that'll go to the Boston Bruins uh, from the Adams Division. And we'll, we'll have to wait and see just what happens here as far as the general manager of the Bruins concerned, uh, Harry Sinden. I know the Buffalo fans are probably sitting on pins and needles here seeing who the next nemesis for the Bruins will be coming in every year as, of course, Boston and Buffalo are the arch rivals that they are. Well, earlier today, or yesterday, uh, Randy Burridge made a, went to the Washington Capitals in exchange for Stephen Leach, and now... There's Bilodeau up there with the general manager of the Montreal Canadiens. Sure fills that uniform, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> Serge Savard. Well, Boston will get the next pick. And then after that, it'll be Calgary, Edmonton, Washington, and Chicago. I tell you, I haven't been able to get a real handle on just uh, who Boston's going to pick. Last night, I heard about uh, the possibility that he may go for Jim Campbell out of Lake Placid. He's a high school player. Uh, I don't know that much about him. Uh, Boston seems to be very high on him, and uh, it'd be very interesting to see whether that's what they, the, the area they go. Okay, let's go downstairs now to Chuck Cate. And Mr. Bilodeau is our guest here, Montreal Canadian first-round pick, and uh, a varied uh, career in terms of where the geography where you lived and uh, the hockey experience because of a hockey family and background. Yeah, you know, it's quite an honor right now to be drafted by Montreal. There's great tradition there, and uh, I'm just really happy. You know, sometimes when you see we're in first places, Dallas, Texas, but you may have only lived there, what, a couple of years? Yeah, my dad played hockey down there for the Dallas Blackhawks at the time, and, uh, you know, right now it's, it's I, I don't know, it's not, I'm so happy. All right, what about it now? I mean, can your dad relate to the fact, I'm sure uh, he can, to uh, what it's uh, like to, to feel like a first-rounder? I mean, maybe it didn't happen in his case, but the feelings have to run deeply, and... He had to have some advice for you. Oh yeah, he has lots of advice. He's played a lot of years of hockey, so uh, he's had a, you know, he's been a lot of help to me, and I'm really happy to. I'm proud of him. Well, I tell you, once again, uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the food in Dallas or the other places you've lived, Brent. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you very much. They get bigger and bigger, and uh, Brent Pillado, <laughs> our first-round pick for the Montreal Canadiens. Back up to you. Okay, thanks very much.